Good afternoon. <clears throat> Welcome to this power boost lunchtime. Today it is on meditation itself. How to understand meditation and what is meditation exactly. And one way to understand meditation is creating harmony in the inner kingdom. There is an external kingdom, <laughs> society, nation, but there is also an inner kingdom. And the soul, the being of consciousness, is at the head of this inner kingdom, supposed to be the king in this inner kingdom. And when we look at our complex world, um, we can observe that problem, problems at all levels are intensifying. And of course, we are dealing with the present world situation of the pandemic and all the social and economic consequences that that brings with it. But even before the pandemic, there was uh, globally in the past 70 years or so, there has been tremendous economic growth and there were the ever-increasing technological possibilities. But still, problems at all levels were also increasing. And spiritual knowledge says that structural solutions are not to be found in the external world. Because the root cause, at its root, whatever the problem is that is there, it finds its root in the human mind. And so solutions should also be at that level. First, once the human mind is put right, once our inner wisdom is restored, once the inner kingdom is again in order, then the outer kingdom can also be put to order again, or maybe it will even naturally come back into a state of harmony. If human beings, if human minds become wise and peaceful and loving and harmonious, and that is how we will interact with each other and that is how we will see each other and treat each other. And meditation is about getting back the rule in our inner kingdom. Because at this moment there is a certain level of spirit, there is like a, what they call it these days, brain fog. <laughs> there is uh, a certain lack of clarity about life, about self, about our perspective on life, on how to uh, interact. There is a certain lack of clarity about how our mind itself functions. So Meditation is about exploring that inner dimension. It is about creating a broader perspective on existence. It is about reviving higher consciousness. It is about understanding the dynamics of the human mind. And so this inner kingdom, you could say the soul is like the king, the ruler, and then there is the mind. And the mind is that function that is, works like a screen or a stage where thoughts pop up in that mind. And 
thoughts bring with them certain feelings and a certain attitude and certain emotions and certain intentions and a certain vision. And then another function in the inner kingdom is the intellect, the power to discern, the willpower, the power to decide. And so the intellect should guide the mind which thought to hold and which thought to let go, <clears throat> which atmosphere in the mind is conducive and which atmosphere is not. And that is the task of the intellect. But if the intellect is not wise, if the intellect lacks spiritual insight, then how can it guide the mind? And then there is the subconscious. From the past, lots of impressions and uh, um, tendencies and habits are stored in the subconscious. A certain thinking patterns are stored and they also uh, send certain thoughts to the mind. But again, it is the task of the intellect to guide which thoughts to hold and which thoughts not to hold. And then there are the sense organs. We see something and all kinds of thoughts come in the mind. We smell something, all kinds of thoughts. We hear something, all kinds of thoughts. Again, the intellect can say, okay, we're seeing this, but I don't need to create thoughts about what I see or what I hear, if it is useless. And so meditation is about training the mind, the, the intellect, strengthening the intellect, nourishing the intellect, feeding it with higher wisdom and guiding the mind into a spiritual experience. And it is very useful to learn this. If you want to learn, there are many courses that we offer, so go in the <coughs> uh, on our site and you will find information. There are courses starting again in November. But for now, let us have some practice, you know, creating that harmony in the inner kingdom. And so let's take a few moments. And for these few moments, Tell your mind that you completely accept everything as it is. The external world, our surroundings, our interactions and this body, for these moments you completely accept. And take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. And acknowledge that our existence is not just at the physical level, at the visible level, not just, but maybe even much more at the invisible level. What we experience and how we feel and what we think is at an invisible level. So let us explore that, this inner dimension. The real self is the one who is sitting behind these eyes, operating the body. as if from the center of the forehead. The 
invisible presence, timeless, immortal, being of light. the king of this inner kingdom of the self, the soul. And we use the strength of the wise intellect intellect that acknowledges and knows the bigger picture there is the physical world the physical dimension and there is the non-physical dimension the intellect knows that the soul is a guest in this world. An invisible, timeless traveler who is an observer. With innate higher potential And so in this physical world, as guests, we cannot truly own anything, even this body. We have it on loan. And if I cannot even own this body, how can I own anyone else's body or anything else? And if I cannot own, we can also not lose anything. soul is a free being of light, no bondages, no burdens, timeless, pure, peaceful, And with the strength of the intellect, we hold these kinds of thoughts and images connected to these thoughts on the screen of the mind. And if other thoughts pop up, we say, hello, but not now. Let them come and go, just like clouds. They come and they go. So thoughts that are con not connected with your meditation. Say hello and goodbye. And you come back to the awareness of this invisible, timeless, being of light living pure star who belongs to the dimension of silence and light 
the dimension of the supreme soul, the ocean of love, the ocean of peace. And more one takes time to appreciate this more subtle dimension, more one pays attention to perceive this invisible aspect of our existence. More the inner kingdom can start being put in place. The intellect becomes wise and refined and the mind becomes calm. and virtuous and that will naturally manifest in our perspective, our attitude, words, actions, relations, interaction with matter. When we put the inner kingdom right, the outer world will follow. Thank you. And this is an invitation for you to explore this a bit more further also if you have interest. So there are some upcoming courses. They are all free online. So visit our website and you can get more details if you have interest. Thank you and have a good day.